Hi, I'm John Knockwich, also known as John Berry Chip on Facebook and John Berry Chip of YouTube. I wanted to tell you about Landmark Medical Center when I was getting electronic harassment inside of a medical center, which I went to for mental health because they kept trying to force me to go to mental hospitals when I didn't want to. In 2004, I was at Patrick M. Wright's house in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, where I met the Pawtucket Police Special Squad. That was on Stamford Street. 2005 to 2006, I was harassed daily by the Pawtucket Police every single day. By 2006, when I did go to Landmark, they were telling me they were upstairs on the second floor. The police were saying that they got in trouble for harassing me and everything because I had made some phone calls. And I also called Chief Hable from the Landmark Medical Center. And what happened after that is I had called United States Department of Justice and America's Most Wanted because some of the threats that the police officers were using. And after that, when I got out of Landmark, the Pawtucket Police Department ended up getting raided by the FBI in 2007. And I found out when Socket was also raided. The cop was pretty angry, said some of his family members were fired, and they kept saying for years when they get their badges back. In 2009, I noticed Detective Lieutenant Campbell got his badge back. I've already talked to the mayor of Pawtucket's office. I gave him a phone call, which wasn't too much help. But I also talked to Governor Kincherry's office, the governor of Rhode Island. And the governor had told me in the old days when I did call them in 2006 that the special squad was disbanded. Right after 2006, in between 2007, that they were supposed to be disbanded. I need to find out if some of these Pawtucket police were still functioning as offices or if they were moved to different squads because they were supposed to be fired. But Detective Lieutenant Campbell now has his badge back. It's 2010. He's on the Pawtucket Police Special Squad. When I started looking into it in 2009 and I gave them a phone call, I went and picked up the police report of Patrick M. Wright's house on Sanford Street. That's about when I started getting harassed more and threatened more by the Pawtucket police. And then... They're starting all sorts of trouble now trying to go on with their smear campaign. But I still want to prove that I've called the United States Department of Justice, I called the FBI, the Secret Service, all sorts of places I called about this chip implant and the problems that are going on. Especially some of the harassment that's been going on around the neighborhood and the attacks with energy weapons on other people. But the government still refuses to do anything. As far as landmark, I have about nine pages. I printed the first pages online. The first one page that proves I was talking about the police and everything. But when I received the nine pages, that's all I was told was there by somebody that gave it to me. But I have to go back to the landmark, which they're saying there are 89 pages of papers, which I am missing 80 papers, which I do want to print and put online and clarify everything. I never told them in landmark exactly that I was chipped, but I kept telling them the cops were upstairs, but there was clearly no third floor, because when I asked landmark, they said there was no third floor in that hospital which the cops said they were across the street in a black truck. I had my then wife pick me up from Landmark because I got a pass for the day. I asked the doctor. I took a ride to a Dunkin' Donuts and there were the two cops right behind me in a black Mercedes truck, which the two cops were threatening me in the mental hospital. When I called Chief Hable, they had stopped for a little while, but then they tried using Paul Francis's name and tried saying they turned me on in that hospital, which wasn't true. I was on for at least a year and a half before I went to that hospital. I was threatened every day and harassed. It's now 2010. They're still harassing me. Now more citizens are being harassed and attacked with energy weapons around the globe. And I just wanted to make a note about it. Again, I'm John Knockwich, also known as John Berry Chip of Facebook. And I just wanted to talk about Landmark. I also made a web page about it. It's hooked up to my web space in Sweden. And you can get there through my Facebook page. Thank you very much. Have a good day.